Diablo from MindlessPaint.com and um, I'm streaming now. Let me fix this real fast. Thanks for joining me. I appreciate it again for another night of, you know, some fun stuff, man. Um, where am I at? Where am I at? Where am I at? Uh, here we go. Just doing some stuff real fast before I go live. Wanted to share some stuff with you guys. Uh, do one more thing. Appreciate it for chilling for a minute. Find the right. Okay. I think that should be cool. All right, guys. And where is my? Let me turn this thing on first so I can see who's on. Because that would be nice if I could see what's going on. Because last time I didn't have a uh, flip. All right, that's good. I finally got it. I think I put the code in one wrong last time. From the iPad, which I totally demolished because <laughs> I guess uh, clumsy a little bit, who knows. All right, we're halfway set up. So thanks guys, just wanna get a little bit started. And I'm drawing Pennywise. I'm actually painting it and I'm using a pink, a pink gray, so I'm like right here. And actually, you know what, now that I do this, let me empty my color cup and mix a custom color because this is why my reasoning is that when I first started this, I saw an image and it was all black and white, but now that I zoom in here, it's a sepia and I really, I don't want to, I want to get this right. So what I'll do is mix sepia in another color right here. I'll do some, like a squirt of it, see? So I do like a squirt of it there and then I'll add some reducer, the 412 reducer, just a tad bit. Um, and then I'll mix it up really good. Until it's like a watery consistency. Some people say milky, I do it for a watery one. And then I know it's over-reduced. That's the point, I want it over-reduced. I don't want it uh, perfect. And then I'll add some uh, mixing additive. And this is kind of like a little trick and that will get it thick again. And bam. Bam, Sam, there you go. All right. There you go. Oh man, a million zillion times better. A million zillion times better, I think.
Let's see me get this all set up real fast again. Apologize for all the delays, but I really want to get set up because I really want to make this super, super dope. I really want to establish the background first, right? I know I was kind of playing around with the settings and everything uh, for the stream, but now I'm really into it right now. I really want to do this super dope. Because I def, this is one of my favorite like it movies, like favorite movies and uh, horror movies that came out this last year. And I'm not a big fan of the, a lot of the horror movies that have came out, so if there is one that's good, I'm going to dedicate and do some really cool work for it, which is how I roll. That's kind of crooked. Let's see if I can leave this here and still move it. It's kind of tough to do that, actually. There we go. Shrink it up like that, that's perfect. Not now, settings. Hey, what's going on guys? Not now, hey, I might go on air title. Okay, cool man, I'm gonna go on there in a minute too, so I just wanna get some of this started real fast before I do go on. This camera is definitely in my way. Alright. That's cool. It's too thick still, so I want to reduce it. like a square to reduce it on there. Make sure I really have to get these colors consistent and at the right levels.
Alright. All right, that's cool. I like that a lot. I think it's good for the draft, good to start. So let me just switch a button real fast and then everything can go stream and do all the good stuff. All right. All right, hey guys, what's going on? It's Dio Diablo from Minus Paint. Oh, .com. And today I'm live, live in here. I'm streaming live doing a custom Pennywise, uh, some, some shoes, and just high top shoes. Doing some really cool stuff here. And uh, I thought I'd share with you guys kind of what I'm working on for the Halloween kind of season. But it's coming up and I'm doing uh, just some crazy art this Halloween, I'm starting up really early. So if anybody of you guys have been watching and checking out my stream lately, uh, you see that I'm really doing, uh, really working hard to do a lot of really cool Halloween stuff. Let me just set up my phone so I can see who's on and everything real fast. Hey, what's going on, Anthony? Hey guys, what's going on? And I'm doing a custom Pennywise kind of theme shoe. And uh, if you check it out right here, I'm actually doing it all in uh, sepia. And then I'm gonna throw all the color on top of it and you'll see. So thanks for sharing, and what I'm doing is actually drop a comment, a like, I'm giving away a free, kind of like this Hellraiser hat, I think I'm gonna give that. Yeah, so I'm gonna give away a custom, you know, horror theme for a drop and share like, all that good stuff. And it helps out my stream, and uh, I always appreciate that, man. Like every single share, every single like, it really helps other people see my work. All right. Hey guys, what's on Jesse? How are you going? Hey Linda, what's going on? Hey everybody, thanks for joining me. And I'm, if you're just joining me, I'm working on a custom Pennywise kind of it horror theme for some shoes, man, some Converse. Really getting into that horror theme for Halloween, doing some crazy horror stuff. And uh, I wanted to share some of the stuff I'm working on while I'm doing that, you know. Sharon, Sharon's Karen. So I'm airbrushing the nose right now. Really soft and fine detail. Just really getting those subtle. He actually has a, a fatter nose, so I'm gonna bring it out here a little more. And uh, underneath the eyes and underneath the head right here. And if you look closely, on the screen, it's kind of glare though, but he has like that brow, it's kind of furrowed, it's kind of like mean looking. So we just like airbrush that subtle kind of ness in there. And I think that's cool right there. Hey guys, what's going on? Thank you for checking out my stream. I appreciate it very much. Hey CJ, what's going on? 
Hey, Lindsay, love your work. Thank you, appreciate it. Hey, Lindsay, Michelle, all you guys, thanks for joining me and uh, checking out my stream. I'm just checking in and uh, I'll see the comments every now and then I'll look down and uh, so if you say something, I'm not ignoring you guys. I'm just uh, working in this thing. I appreciate it all. And uh, it, man, that's it was always a really kind of eerie movie because first of all, it's like the clown thing, right? I don't know. It's like a, it always has a horror vibe that the clowns. And, um, Here's the, up there is the um, balloon. And then it's like the sepia tone in here. And I think that's pretty cool, pretty good with the sepia right there. I think I want to get that side of his head in. And then right here is his like crazy hair. So this is going to be crazy realistic when it's complete. Super excited. And I want to kind of move it up here and then throw in those lines. Hey guys, thanks for joining me and checking out my live stream. And if you're just checking me out, I'm working on some custom uh, shoes for um, the new movie, man. That it, well, you know the how, you know Halloween spirit kind of stuff. Doing that, and this is one of the one of my favorite horror movies uh, this year. So I really want to kind of do some dope on it. You know. And it was, he's kind of like a horror, like a Joker-esque character, right? Because he never really just, he doesn't care. He just wants to see stuff, be destroyed, and uh, he's just evil. He's just evil, just like evil, and he doesn't really care about anything. So do that, and I really want to make these eyes. That's a big part of it, right? So I'll do that, I'll kind of like lightly dust this area. See how I did that? My hand's in the way a lot, but um, I'll move it off every now and then to look at the image and back up. And then that's cool like that. And he has these hazel eyes. Hey, God. hey, what's going on, Danielle? Amazing work. Thank you, Randy. Sweet deal. Love them. Wish I could get a pair. Hey, uh, DM me if you want. You know, I'll order all these. Make them all. Michael, badass artwork. Hey, what's up, Mike? Thanks for checking me out. Appreciate it, man. Really cool guy, MMA fighter. Uh, if you're around, he, uh, he does some shows, man. Mike, so check him out, he's really cool. So, um, adding all these little soft details in there. And see how his nose has a little shine? So, I want to kind of mimic that by painting around it and then giving it that shape in his cheeks, like kind of like a circular shape. And, you know, really doesn't look like any of the colors yet but you'll see as i get more into it and i think like i said that's pretty good i'm really happy with that sepia right now so that's good and i'm going to dump this color out i'm going to switch to a new color and uh, let me get the lighting because it's kind of dark actually there we go i think it's better way better oh yeah a million times better all right now I can see what I'm doing. All right, so now I changed it out to pain gray. Now this is a really nice kind of soft gray, and it's not too harsh. And I pre-mixed this color before I started. Hey, that's dope. Hey, what's up, Air Todd? I don't know where you're looking at the most. Oh, I'm looking more on Facebook, man. Uh, that's where I'm. I started off on. Uh, the other channel and then I'm on here now. So I want to zoom out so I can see the whole thing right here and there's like a glare but you can see like Pennywise right here, right? A little dot for the eye. And it's okay to really go dark by his eyes and even make a hard line. Because a lot of times you do portraits, if you make a hard line, it looks too comic-y and stuff like that. But here, beep beep Diablo, hey, what's going on, man? Started coming out great, can't wait to see it. Badass, 
all you guys, thanks for joining me and thanks for checking me out. Drop a like, share, comment, and then uh, I'm giving away some free Halloween stuff. I have this hat that I want to give away. It's really cool Hellraiser ones. Pretty crazy. And uh, I still have to, and I got a lot of free stuff I still got to ship out. And uh, so that's always, that's something I'm going to do in the next day. So I'll do some hard line right here, and then I'll blend out his kind of like this part right here, that little collar part. And it seems dark now, but I'm gonna lighten it up again. But I really want to get the uh, the motion in there of it all. What's up, Stacy? Awesome. Thank you. What's up, guys? Thanks for joining me, and. Um, Working on some Pennywise custom shoes. Really make that dark lip. And there's like, I like it because there's a lot of a dark shadows. You can make a lot of contrast and have a lot of fun with it. And that's really what makes a painting is the, uh, the lighting, contrast, all that stuff. So let me get a little zoom in on here so you guys can see it better. There you go, man. Some crazy it stuff right there. I think that's a better angle too, right? I don't know if everyone can see it better that way, I think. Painting in the eyes right here. Hey, what's up, Britt? What's going on? Bad as hell, thanks. Yeah, man, some evil stuff right here. Some crazy it stuff, right? So, and this is just the underpainting. If, all, if any of you guys have been following me for a while, um, you know, I like to share my work and actually teach other artists how to do, you know, uh, effects and uh, paintings. And I usually do a lot of portraits too. So it's a similar process for everything pretty much I do. So that's in there really well. I like that that nozzle needs to go a little, okay, so now I wanna add some of that red to really bring it alive. Actually, when, where is that, so. You know what, now actually, you know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna use, shake this up really good, and this is a blue color. It's a really, really pretty blue color, but I'm gonna reduce it down like crazy, and you'll see it. I'm actually gonna spray most of it out. And then I'm gonna spray it out, and that's what I'm doing down here real fast, just spraying out the color so it's nice, soft, and subtle. And um, that's what makes all the crazy detail in the painting. Little, soft, subtle tones. You know me, I don't like doing just too much black and white stuff. I gotta add some crazy color to it. So this is that like little highlight of the light bouncing off of the one side of the face. And uh, kind of like in the, underneath his mouth, underneath his nose, kind of tinting off of his eyes. Just gives it that extra effect. And uh, I did a lot, been doing a lot of photography lately, if you see my body artwork. So that really gives me a lot of, you know, a lot of um, experience working with light and understanding light really well. So if you're a new artist or even, a, uh, you know, a veteran artist, I would say really get into that, that studying of light. It'll make your work just a phenomenally better. I haven't heard airbrushing a Pennywise yet. I need to do one. Yeah, man. Yeah, do some, something different. Hey, what's up, Lisa? What's up, Jesse? All you guys. My four-year-old, he's going to get those shoes. Awesome. I'll punch you. <laughs> okay, so Wicked Red. I want to use a uh, dark, uh, here's a Wicked color. What is this color? Crimson. 
and this is more of a, a little little deeper red this crimson color and I think this would be perfect for Pennywise and he wouldn't be Pennywise if you didn't throw that red in there and this is unreduced right now this is straight color from the bottle I usually reduce all my colors before I paint but I want to make a really nice dark tone so the red stands out and you know it's really red. Like that, it's a really rich red. I'm taking my time because I really want to make this really good. see a lot of stuff online and I see these you know I'm like man I know I can do better so I always like I always strive to have the best one I'm at, you know, out there at all so I'm really competitive like that so I appreciate you guys watching me and supporting me and watching and when you guys watch and I really push me to do better too so it helps me out as an artist I know people are watching, man, so I gotta be like, all right, I gotta step this game up, man. I gotta step my art game up, man. Always do amazing. Hey, what's up, Liz Lisa? What's going on? Hey, Jesse. Everybody. Oh, hey, Anna. What's going on? Carissa? Done and done. Thanks. Appreciate it. Hey, what's up, Lisa? Yeah, I thought you'd like that. I didn't, you know what? I was gonna do like the Chucky, but I'm like, nah, man, I gotta do something, something crazy, you know? So I didn't think you'd, uh, I don't think you'd mind. All right, so let that dry for a minute. And uh, actually, you know what? This camera is too light. So I want to do an adjustment really fast because I want to. All right, here we go. Open dog with your video. Advanced right light. Okay. All right, there we go. Man, that was too dark. I hate working in the dark and I hate having cameras that are in the dark. So that looks good. All right, so we have the Pennywise going. Appreciate it. And uh, now I want to add, that's all red, that's all red. Now I want to add some, so I'm looking at the tones in this face. I want to go back with that pink gray and really add the detail. And uh, actually it's pretty solid like this, right? Sometimes I even try to push it further or faster uh, than I need to. Maybe I don't need to right now. So I'm gonna go right here by his mouth. And you can't see it, but he has like these two front teeth with that gap in there. He's like that gap tooth. And uh, a little light shadow underneath there. So I'm gonna turn up the pressure, really kick out the paint. And then I have his mouth kind of half open. It's these little subtle things you do when you, when you paint, like having his mouth slightly open, that really turns it from uh, just a, 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 you know, doing like a shoe or a t-shirt to a piece of art. And uh, I don't care if I'm doing a shoe or I'm doing a, you know, $10,000 paint job, I'm gonna do it how, you know, good, like I'm doing you know, a huge big paint job. Because it's practice, man. No matter what your surface you're working on, it's all practice. And don't let anybody tell you any different because they suck. <laughs> yeah, that's about it. Okay, cool. So that's in there, and then you have this really cool shadow in there. You got Pennywise looking all menacing as heck. 
So hey guys, thanks for joining me and checking me out. Hey, thought you did an exorcist, Carlos, Leo. Hey, what's up, Bobby? All you guys that's sick, love them. Shared. Thank you, Lisa. What's going on, guys? Jesse uh, shows a bit. Shows a bit of the teeth. Yeah, there's like a little bit of the teeth in there. And then this side has a, a couple hard shadows. So I want to make sure I get those in there. And then I'll drag in some of the. I think his shoulders right here. So I kind of mimic that right there. Light, and then there's black. I kind of want to add the black in there. So that's cool. And his hair is here in the side. It has like that orange burnt orange effect in the hair. So bam. Pennywise. I'm, I'm working off my iPad. So I'm just, I like, I, I talk about that a lot. I like, we round off the eyes. I like working off my iPad. I can see a lot of detail. So just a tip if you guys are artists out there and you wanna kinda see a little more detail, do that. All right, so that's in there, that paint's in there. Um, if I look in again, I can see, let me zoom out right here. I can see that there's the shadow right here. And I'm gonna darken that up. Right here, this really shadow tone. I give it that dark, like I said, menacing look. And it's not in the picture, but I think that makes it look a lot, it really comes and jumps out a lot better. It makes it more dynamic, I guess the word I'm looking for. And he has these really pointy, like um, lips, a little like arch right there, right? So when you're painting anything, when you're drawing something, you're really immersed in it. And I really think everyone should try painting something. So it really gets you out the uh, stress zone. You don't stress anymore. You don't think about anything but what you're doing. And you notice stuff. Being an artist is all about noticing things. So that's why I think it's cool about, about doing some job like that. All right, that's cool. It raises up here a little bit, so the glare is off of there. All right, you have like Pennywise in the background, I wanna pin zoom and look at his eyes, because that's the next part. So he's pretty good, I like the tones, I like the colors. Actually, I, I don't know really how much further I can go on this. I think I want to bring out the highlights in white and then drag his underneath, you know, chin, all these, and then really clean up the edges to really fix and finish the illusion of having this like a 3D Pennywise coming off your shoe. And I really didn't see any crazy ones like this online, so I'm really excited to post all this and share all this and get my art out there. So now I want to do is finish this balloon part and dump all the red on here. And when I paint shoes, I get like inside these little parts right here. And that really makes it look a lot like, I don't know, it just gives it something I think. Something a little different and uh, it shows, that detailed shows when people look at it. And I know other artists, sometimes they even look at my work and uh, I don't want to get any haters man, so when they see that little care, they know that I'm serious about what I'm doing, I'm not messing around. Alright, so that's good. And now I'm going to clean out and add this white highlight. And I really want to get my gun clean, but I don't want to dilute it. I don't want to have a diluted color in there. So I'm going to take the gun right here, and that's what I'm doing right now, and then cleaning it for a minute. I just get like a little Q-tip, it's really fast. All I do is swirl it inside and get all the other color out. And um, so it's not diluted. I usually have a bunch of separate guns, but this one's really detailed. So I want to use the detail gun. That's important. Because if I don't, it, it'll ruin everything. So thank you guys for dropping a like, share, comment. Hey, Candice, Jesse, and you use my tablet and said, yeah, that's what I do. Just pull it out, man. Holly Bears, it's awesome. Thank you, Holly. I appreciate you watching. 
And what I'm gonna do is shake up this color and this is opaque wicked. And this is where all the magic happens. I guess you call it the magic. So I'm gonna test spray it out here, like test spray it on the objects and see how what color it is. All right, so that, see that color? That's white, it's white, white. And then um, I'm gonna zoom in here and I'm gonna do these little highlights. That's cool like that. And then I wanna do this little. For his lip. And then a little arch inside here. And then really, and it's white. If you do it really soft and nice, you can really bring out the, uh, the detail and the character. There you go, I think that's good. I'm gonna go really hard with this white. Really make it opaque, really bright. Because his eyes, I remember that sewer scene. I don't know if you guys remember that scene where his like, eyes are like super, his eyes are super bright, they super stand out. He's all like cross-eyed too, so that's good. There you go. So see, like, even me, I'm just like, I don't know how much further I can take it, how much more detail, but I always find, if I push it a little further, hey Josh, what's going on, man? Uh, looks badass, bro, thanks, man, thanks, David, fucking awesome, amazing, bro, thanks, Candice, so made Jesse, all you guys, so amazing. Uh, Holly Bears, I think I said hi to you already. Uh, what's going on, awesome, thanks for sharing, dropping a comment, appreciate it, Holly. Uh, Stacy shared, and uh, all you guys, Bobby, all you guys, thanks for checking me out and joining me. And if you're just joining me, I am working on a custom. Um, I just make sure I don't want to forget anybody's comments right there, real fast. Uh, some custom Pennywise shoes. And if you're just watching, drop a like, drop a comment, all that good stuff. And uh, that really helps out my stream and gets it out there. And I'm giving away a cool Hellraiser kind of hat back there. See? Right there, that guy right there. So. And uh, I'm just focusing on this Pennywise one. And uh, I think I'll tone down his eyes, but I really wanted to make that jump out a little bit before I did that. So remember I told you I was gonna have that sepia here and uh, it was too bright. Well, now I'm um, adding these little highlights right here to really bring out that, that, that little ruffle kind of effect. So really draw in those ruffles. And if you have that white on there, that really gives it a little more depth and dimension. Even though the shoe is already white, and I used to think this too when I was a new artist, you know, not to add white, but it's already, why would you add white on top of white? Well, it's brighter and it, it pops more if you do that. So it takes more work, but it, it pays off in the end. So you can see it, let me just zoom in right here so you can see what I'm doing. See, I did like a little ruffles there. And then here's, there's his face. And then I want to, um, I'll, show you, I'll show you right here. So this is the, uh, the, the image I'm using, right? So there, and then I have the, the shoe right there. and I'm looking off of it. If you can see from here, looking off it right there. So. So that's the uh, Pennywise kind of design I got going on right now. So I zoom in right here and I pinch zoom and I see his eyes. And it's like that really hazel, that bright, that bright brown. So how I get that color is I'll get a, um, I get another brown, right? There's a really cool brown. Hey Pete, what's going on? Another sick, great job. Thanks Pete. Hey Mrs. M, hi. 
Hey, I see you guys now. My bad, and see you uh, commenting on the other channels. And um, so I'm test mixing it. Actually, right here, so I'll spray it. Right here, right? This is black, though. It's not really good. And you see that little haze, hazel color? Um, that's the color that I'm looking for. Maybe a little brighter, like that. So then I'll come in here as eyes and really drop that color in. And then I want to add probably a little yellow tint to it because it's kind of yellowy. So I'll get some yellow wherever I got it. I'll find it. And I'll add it to the color cup. All right, I'm gonna make sure I don't drop it all. And then add that yellow to really make that cool shift right there. There you go. Okay, my iPad is dead. Every time I do a stream, my iPad dies, so we're going to the backup image right here, which is right there. I think that, you know when it dies, it's saying that, hey Diego, you need to do your own, you know, kind of twist to it. So do that, and I think that's what it means. All right, so that's good. I have the eyes in there really well. And then I want to go over it again one more time. Like that, nice, nice and bright. It's weird because I'm looking at it and I want to fix his eyes because they're kind of crooked, but that's how it is. His eyes are like crooked and it's, it's driving me kind of crazy. So come in again with sepia, the one custom color I mixed, and I have it here in the color cup, I mixed it. So if I ever needed to use it again, um, I already have the same perfect blend mixed. And then I'll tint over his eye. Really soft. And then all this white here is kind of too harsh. I'll go back over, actually you can see it better here. There. Lower this light a little bit. Cool, there you go. So I'm tinting over there, and that's coming out cool. All right, so I like that look. And then maybe some white highlights again. Actually, you know what, forget the white highlights. I'm done with the white highlights. I'm adding a dark, deep black, and that's going to make the background really pop. Okay, so that's the paint gray. And uh, I was going over some colors and it really wasn't making it any darker. And that's when you know to move on to the next color is if you're painting and it's not getting any uh, more effect, you know, darker, lighter, whatever. You know, so I'm using a straight wicked black, jet black, mixing it with a little reducer. And then um, right there with the detail. And um, this light is really kind of acting crazy. So I want to brighten it up, man. So yeah, so that's, you know, a pretty like just a quick rendition of, there we go, got my game. All right, cool. I like that a lot better now. Of Pennywise. And um, I got to add some highlights. I got to add some detail in there. And I'm back now. And I'm never really quite satisfied 
until I got those rich blacks and when you're airbrushing you have to go over it again it's an overspray right all right let me shake up that black again because I want to put some really deep black in there in my cup right there put the cap on it doesn't spill really subtle but like you can see his brow still like like looking angry and it's fading into black and anybody that got these man if you're like a kid or somebody going dude you're gonna be like friends gonna freak out like what the heck who made those and where did you get those from I want them and if you can make something that cool man that's always like the holy grail of making some art you know kids, man, they, they were honest. They ain't gonna lie about anything. Unless they wanna lie about stuff. So, hey guys, thanks David, badass homie. What's going on, man? A little more highlights, brow, make it pop more. All right, cool, thanks for your suggestion. Hey, Rudy Stover, that's awesome. Thanks, Rudy, uh, sorry, Ruby, my bad. Um, we'll make the face more white if I could be wrong. Yeah, you know what? And the, um, the, um, what was I gonna say? The camera kinda has a weird, kind of thing going on right now. Yeah, I'll add some more white, I guess. I don't... I just don't want to make it just black and white, you know? I want to add some color, some depth. But, um... Yeah. At the end of the day, you gotta make them a clown. So I'll sharpen up these areas, and when you put, when you really add the rich black, it makes the lighter areas lighter. And that's kind of a, a trick. All right, and um, let me empty this out, and then go back to the white again. Bam. So Pennywise is looking like a fiend. This dude is crazy. And then here's my original Pennywise one up there. I don't think anybody can see that though. crazy with that. There you go, some crazy little string, right? Uh, let, me, let me scoot this back because this camera's like literally in my face. So I can come in here and do this really cool line.
Hey, what's up, guys? Hey, David. Hey, Jess. Did you make that camera holder neat? Able to move it? Oh, no, no. It's, you can get one out. You just Amazon it, man. Adding the damn detail in here. There you go. It's definitely a better angle there. So really adding these little sharp lines right there. That looks good, that looks good. That looks good. And then bring back that red. I think that bright red needs to be back so it pops more. Clean out the color cup. white man out before I move on to the next color there you go so I added more white I think that looks really cool and uh, yeah I think it was a good suggestion thanks and then add some straight red I want to Flush it out really fast. Hey, that's my new favorite shoe art. Hey, thanks, Eric. Thanks. Appreciate that. All right. Oh, yeah, this red is popping. There you go, Diego, man. You're doing it now. Just got to play with the colors a little bit. There we go. You know, in the picture, it's really dark, but I think it looks better that it's brighter on the shoe. So not really going to follow the picture too much now. Bam, there you go. So thanks guys for joining me and checking me out. Drop a like, share uh, comments, and I'm giving away some cool Halloween stuff. So check that out. That's always something cool to get. It's something cool, man. And uh, helps out my channel too, so it's a win-win.
Anthony, what's up going on, man? The detail is off the chain. Thanks, amazing work. Mike Contrell, you'll flow too. How <laughs> nice. Alyssa, so cool. Thanks. Hey, what's up, Alyssa? How's it going? Hey, Frankie. Sweet. Thanks. So evil looking now. Yeah, man. Appreciate the little, uh, much more vibrant image. Great job. Thank you. And uh, yeah, I got, I got some really, uh, really talented uh, followers uh, that check out my channel, man. Airbrush artists. So they always chime in and give me tips and uh, too and help them out uh, from another perspective. So even as a, uh, you know, kind of like a veteran artist, I guess I would say, um, I always learn from everybody. And uh, I appreciate it a lot. And this last, what I'm really doing here is just going in between the areas and just enriching that black, you know? So like right here, so underneath here is kind of ambiguous where the balloon starts. Now I want to make a hard black line to separate it really well. Bam. Now this dude's like super wicked, super evil. I'm having too much fun with this man. And I was gonna do Chucky, so I'm glad I didn't do I, I like this is much more fun, I think. So even down here, the little fade, add that deep black to really just make the white pop more and then the ruffles like kind of fade in and out more. And you can be a little more precise than me. I'm just doing it because we're doing the stream. So I'm just kind of getting it done so you guys can see the whole thing being done in a whole stream. But any way you want to do your own designs, do them by all means. You got the time to really, you know, do that, do that. I think I have white still. I still have some white, or do I have red in there? No, I have red. And um, actually, that'll work. So let me empty out my color again real fast. And I just black flush it. I pull back the trigger really hard and um, pull back the needle. And that just kicks out the paint super fast. So I can add another color. And I drop a couple drops of reducer in there and spit it out, you know, so it really just flushes the color out really good. And then uh, I add the next color, which would be a white. And there's red in there, so it's gonna have like a red tint, which is perfect though, for what I'm doing right now. Turn up the pressure. This step right here is a little extra, a little overachieving, but uh, it's adding a little tint of white mixed with red, and it really makes that kind of balloon kind of stand out a little bit more. And his nose right here. So watch right here. So I'm looking at an image, I'm looking at this thing right here. And we're still zoomed in a lot, but there's like a little highlight on his nose and then a highlight down here by his mouth. I'm really paying attention to that, being really conscious of that.
Damn. So that's cool. I got the balloon. Got everything. I think it's good, man. I think I'm good. I think I'll chill for that. And then I'll just kind of paint some design. I don't know what I'm going to do around the other shoe. I think I might just do some. I'll finish the orange in his hair and some crazy stuff like that. Off camera, if I can do it. If I can do it. But here is the final finished shoe. Ta-da. And I'm blocking the light, but there we go. The final finished Pennywise um, Converse. Let me step, step back here kind of so I can see what I'm doing. And um, actually, do I have another white? Actually, I do have white. So while I'm at it, I say I'm finished. But while I'm at it. Undiluted white. This is me doing my own thing. Me do my own thing. So here's Pennywise. Let me uh, zoom up and uh, do this real fast. Okay, cool. Move the camera up. So I can get some. There we go. So here it is. He finished a Pennywise shoe, custom Converse. And I think on the other side, I'm gonna do some like crazy skulls or just an evil scene. And I think I'll do that off camera so I can really just do some crazy detail though. So I'm gonna just flesh it all in there and do some crazy stuff right there. So. Don't forget the teeth. Oh yeah, the little teeth too. Great decision. I've seen many Chucky e. Will shoes, but no Pennywise. Awesome, thanks uh, Jesse. So thanks guys for watching my stream. I'm here just, oh, I'm right here. Here just chilling. And uh, man, I'm gonna get a beer, man, and chill out and then finish this, right? To uh, all work and no play, man, makes Diego a dull boy. So some evil, wicked Pennywise shoes. If you're just chiming in, I uh, appreciate it. Drop a share, like, all that good stuff. And uh, I'm doing these custom Converse tonight. And then I have one done and uh, another one down the line right here. So I have to knock that one out tonight too. So that'll be a lot of fun. And I'll post them. And uh, I'll give away that uh, cool, I got that cool uh, hat right here, like Hellraiser kind of style. Hellraiser kind of cool one. Yeah, it's like one of my favorite movies, Hellraiser, my favorite scary movies, is always this crazy, wicked Hellraiser guy. And um, here's like that zoom in for that guy. Bam, had the little souls on the side, right? You have had the lost souls. And uh, yeah, man, I like, I like to do like some, you know, design a little everywhere. It's just kind of my style. So see you guys later, appreciate it. And uh, like, subscribe, check out my channel. Thanks for hanging out. Thanks for sharing all that good stuff. You guys rock. And I'll be back again for another crazy episode of MindlessPaint.com and with Diego. All right, talk to you guys later. Bye.